In this video, I'm going to discuss the fuel mileage between all three Fords that I had. So starting from the left, right, this column, this spreadsheet here, this is from my 2017 Ford F350 that I had. This middle chart here is the 2019 Ford F250 that I briefly had. And then this one here is the 2020 um, F250 that I have right now. Okay, so let's start from left to right. You see here in the 17 Ford, this was in the year 2018, uh, but this is the most complete few months report that I have for the 17. And you can see here, there's a lot of red. A lot of amber, but a lot of red. This truck did not get good fuel mileage. And again, this truck was in regen a lot. So a lot of this is regen is why that the truck didn't get good fuel mileage. At times, I could get, you know, decent fuel mileage, like 18, 18, 18, you know, but because the truck was always in region, it didn't get that good fuel mileage. And then we go to the F250, 2019 F250. It's better, right? As a matter of fact, look at this. I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't remember that I could get over... I got 23 miles to the gallon on the 20 on the 27th of November 2019. That's really good. 23.4 miles to the gallon. Um, but you can see here there are some reds. These are definitely regens for sure. You can see your 12 miles to the gallon, 14, 14, 14 miles to the gallon. A lot of these ambers are most likely you know regens and and whatnot. Um, but uh, and then you see here the 2020. You you can see a progression of better fuel mileage from left to right. And the 2020s, look at this, definitely so far in the 2200 miles I've had the truck, it's already getting way better fuel mileage. As a matter of fact, you can see the overall average here, the overall average for my, 19, for my 2020 is 19.1 miles to the gallon. For the 19 F250 that I had was 18.1 miles to the gallon. For the 17, uh, obviously it's gonna be a lot less. <laughs> So, and this is not, this is just the beginning half of, of the, the year 2018. But I just wanted to share that with you guys that uh, you can see a progression of MPGs. And also, I believe, this is my opinion, mine only, that the regen strategy, you can see it changing over the years. Uh, the regen strategy, obviously, for the 17 wasn't that great, got better in the 19s, and obviously in the 2020s, they did something different um, because. One, it's not regening as much. Two, when it does regen, it's not bad. It's not using. It's it's not completely destroying your fuel mileage. Um, but even with the nineteen Ford uh, for the forty four hundred miles that I had the truck, you can see here it's still got pretty good fuel mileage, eighteen point one average, uh, which is not bad. The twenty twenty is it's one mile to the gallon more. And I remember watching a video. It was either on TFL Truck or Mister Truck or whatever when they were or big truck big rv or whatever they were interviewing um the ford engineer for the power stroke diesel and he said that the 2020s you should see a mile to the gallon more than previous models and so far that is definitely accurate at least in my experience so just wanted to put that video out a comparison between the few mileage between the 17 the 19 and the 2020 um <laughs> i'm just looking back at this 17 i mean look at this that fuel mileage is awful, just awful. Uh, and I, rest assured, these are all regens. And you can see there's a lot of it. Um, and you can see on the 19, there's regens, but less regens. Uh, these ambers are also, uh, not all of them are regens, but they're also regens. But um, yeah, you, you, you can just see the, the complete difference here. Wow, that's, uh, that's awful. But anyways, so Ford definitely did something different for the 2020s. So uh, for anyone that's concerned about fuel mileage and emissions, like don't worry about it. Your truck would be fine. Drive it normal. You'll be fine. And these trucks do get decent fuel mileage. If you, let me put it this way. The weight of your wallet is controlled by the weight of your right foot. Okay. Just think about that and let that sink in. So, okay. Hope this video helped out. Bye.